everyone, this is CY once again. Thanks for joining me today. Um, today I'm going to do something interesting because I've been using the SSB Casper for quite some time. And uh, I have uh, put really good shots from the SSB Casper, which is also known as the uh, Lab Sweeper for the 64mm DF64. Um, but sometimes I tend to get a little bit faster extraction, and sometimes I tend to get. Uh, uh, very slow extraction. So even uh, I, I have the same machines, same pressure setting, uh, same profile, uh, same temperature, and sometimes I just have uh, under extraction where I run too fast. And sometimes with the same grind setting, I'll, I'll also get, you know, um, like very slow extraction. Maybe after uh, 10 seconds, then the espresso liquid start to drip out slowly. Right. So this is something really. Um, unique and uh, peculiar about the uh, SSB Casper and uh, of course um, I'm gonna pull um, I hopefully I'll pull two shots to show you uh, if I can show you within the two shots the uh, extractions can actually vary right and uh, and I will not do any um, other special part preparation basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grind uh, grind the uh, coffee bean then I will try to um, just use my hand to slowly tap the coffee. I will not do WDT, right? I will try to um, grind straight to the polo filter, and I'm gonna use um, about 17 grams of coffee, and to pull maybe about 34 grams out. And uh, let's see the time that it, take, it takes to actually pull 17 grams with uh, multiple shots. Uh, if two is not enough, probably I'm gonna pull more. So today is gonna be fun. Um, and uh, at the end of the video, I will try to. Um, come up with a way to actually overcome um, the inconsistency about the SSC Casper to see whether we can actually achieve certain consistency, right? So this is going to be fun and without further ado, let's try to get started. The reason for today's test is actually very simple. As I've tested the SSP Casper, um, this pair of SSP Casper tend to produce a uh, significantly uh, more fine powder and when we try to pull espresso shot with um, varying difference of grind size especially if I have a significantly more fine powder it will cause over extraction at the fine powder and uh, the over extraction of the, grind, uh, the fine powder part tend to produce a bitter coffee which is not something that we want to so um, in this experiment I'm actually trying to see whether I can actually um, uh, don't pull the uh, uh, extra fine powder even though if I'm using the uh, SSB Casper so that's that's what we are trying to do today so um, for the first part we will try to dose a uh, 17 grams of coffee right let me get two scale here and remember our aim is to use 17 grams and produce uh, about 34 grams of coffee in about 30 seconds uh, so without doing anything, let's try to um, see um, whether the first shot at a grind setting of uh, 6, right, what kind of extraction are we getting, right? So um, I will try to be as precise as possible. So right now we are getting 17 grams of coffee bean. So I'll grind and I'll do my usual stuff, right, I will grind and I'll bellow. Let's wait for the coffee beans to be totally grounded without any more sound of the bean jumping around. Then what's going to happen is I'm going to switch off the grinder and I'm going to do a measurement of how much coffee is actually uh, being output here. So I have gotten about 16.5 grams of coffee, which means there's actually a 0.5 grams of retention there. So right now what I'm going to do is I'm going to bellow right, by turning on the grinder. Right, by doing this, we are actually purging all the super fine coffee powder that has been retained in the grinder. Right, so I'm actually getting more. So which means that the previous retention has actually about 0.6 grams of coffee. 
So I'm actually getting more coffee out. So what I'm going to do is to produce the same consistency, I'm going to remove about 0.6 grams of coffee out. Let's remove a little bit more. And I'm actually removing from the top. So which means to say that the fresh coffee that's being the last part of the coffee, that's a super fine powder that's being blew out, I've removed a little bit of that. Right? So now let's try to pull a shot. Right, I'll try to make the preparation the same every time. So basically I'm just gonna tap it. Right, and then I'm just gonna distribute. And then I'm gonna tap it down. Right, so the powder is actually very fine. So let's see what kind of extractions are we getting. Right, I can see that the barometer, the pressure gauge is actually jumping It means the pressure is higher So about 30 seconds now you can see Right and I'm actually getting about 34.8 grams out Okay let me see whether you can see from the uh, Right, and the timing right, is about 30 seconds. So I'm extracting about 35 grams of coffee in about 30 seconds. Right, so let's taste the coffee and see how it goes. Oh, it is um, not a very nice acidity. Um, I think it's pretty sour. Yeah, so I, I think um, this is an okay shot, but not the best. Right, so Okay, right now, um, let's do another shot and for this shot, I will dose directly from the polyfilter and uh, I will probably uh, keep to the same grind size and then I will try to um, I will try to dose directly into the polyfilter without using the dosing cup, right? So let's give it a try. Right, same thing, we are going to measure 18 gram first uh, 17 gram, sorry. Right, so we are going to measure 17 gram. Okay, 70.1, I think that's pretty close. So you can see I didn't switch on the grinder and I pour my beans in without the grinder switch on. Okay, let's get rid of the uh, coffee. So um, you can see that the coffee puck, um, there's a lot of fine powder on top. 
Right, if I, if I dig further in, let me get a spoon. Okay, I cannot find a spoon, so let me use an, a knife. Yeah, the coffee is very, very fine. So I think I have a grind pretty fine and uh, trying to heat the extraction. Okay, so now let's uh, dose directly to the pot. Before that, let's clean out the bottle filter. Okay, remember to zero out your bottle filter because you want to see what is the uh, how much are we getting out. Right, so we have zero. Again, let's try not to bellow and see how much um, is actually re retained behind the uh, version 4 of the decomper. I dose 17 gram, right? And uh, right now I'm getting 15.8 grams of coffee. Let me show you. Right, I'm getting 15.8, uh, which means 1.2 grams of coffee are actually stuck behind the decomper. Right, so now let's try to bellow this and then see how much actually came out. So I will bellow by switching on the grinder. Let's measure again. So we are now getting 17.1 gram. So it is pretty much about zero retention. So if I really bellow hard, and um, just to give you a feedback, I've been using the version four of the decamper uh, for um, quite a few days. Um, so far, uh, the result is quite um, quite all right. I'm pretty much getting uh, 0.1 to 0.2 grams of retention at the most if I bellow hard, right? So now uh, let's prepare and then try to um, pull the shot and see how it goes. So again, for preparation, right, I'm not going to do any WDT, right, I'm just going to use my hand to gently tap it. And I'm purposely doing it this way because I want to show you that uh, on top, there's quite a bit of clumping, right, because these are super fine coffee powder that I just bellow out. And I'm also not going to use park my auto auto temper because this is not something that every household will have, right? So, but every one of you, I'm quite sure you have a quite a solid temper at home. So this is what I use. Uh, distributor, I'm not too sure everyone has this. I think, but most of us will actually have a distributor, right? So now let's see the extraction. So um, I'm going to tally out the uh, video later on to let you see the uh, amount of time. Uh, perhaps I'll start the timer here while I do the extraction.
right? 30 seconds, and if you can see from uh, the previous shot, uh, in the previous shot, I'm actually getting about 35 grams of coffee. In the second shot, I'm actually getting 27.3 grams. So uh, the difference between the two is for the first shot, I um, use the dosing cup and uh, I bellow uh, everything out and I realize that there's some coffee ground that's stuck behind, which is the super fine coffee powder. And then I try to remove about 0.6 or I can't remember 0.6 or 0.7 grams of coffee. Uh, by doing that, I'm actually removing the fine coffee powder. And that could be the reason why um, I'm actually extracting less because um, for this shot, uh, most of the fine coffee powder is actually on top and that could lead to um, um, the slow extraction. So let's taste the coffee. Cheers. Uh, not as acidic as the previous one. But it's still quite acidic. Um, by right, my sweet Casper should be producing a sweeter note of coffee and less acidity. But for the first shot, it's really acidic. The second one is slightly less it is acidic. Yeah, it is actually slightly towards the... I think the bitterness, the slight bitterness has, uh, has been... Uh, has been shown in this extraction and that actually blends out the acidity and moving towards the uh, the slight bitterness side so i think the fine coffee powder does produce um, the the bitterness right so right now the third shot i'm going to do is i'm go i'm not going to dose 18 grams directly i'm i'm going to dose as i grind the coffee which means to say that i put my powder filter there i'll zero on my powder filter and then i'll grind uh, I'll, I'll, I'll grind more than 18 grams and I'll remove uh, whatever there's excess of, uh, sorry, I'll grind 17 grams and I'll, I'll remove whatever there's excess of the 17 grams and I will not do any bellowing, right? So that is, uh, that. this process, what I'm doing here is actually trying to remove the fine coffee powder that's actually causing the bitterness, which is uh, the over in the coffee because what we want to achieve eventually is a sweet cup of coffee with uh, as little bitterness as possible, right? So uh, if you have the Casper and um, um, you can try this right at home, uh, but you're gonna raise a little bit of coffee, but it is fun to test, right? So let's proceed to the third shot. Right, so for the third shot, I'm gonna zero out my uh, powder filter with my um, dosing ring. Right, and I'm going to um, pour as I grind. Right, so maybe um, instead of pouring, uh, okay, let's do it this way. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn on the grinder and I'm just going to pour. Okay, I'm going to turn it off. There are still some beans grinding inside. I'm just going to quickly measure how much am I getting. Oh, I'm actually getting 16.8 gram. So I can grind a little bit longer. I'm not doing any bellowing. Right, that's 17.5. So what's going to happen is I'm going to remove right, the excess 0.5 gram. Right, so that's 17.1 and um, you can see that I do not do any bellowing. And now let's do the extraction. So same thing, I'm not going to uh, 
I'm just going to distribute. And I'm just going to tamp tam directly, right? Right, so let's head over to the extraction and see how it goes. Right, so same thing. Now, um, all the temperature I'm pulling is at 96 degrees because this is actually the light medium rose. So let's pull the shot and see how it goes. Right, so it's 30 seconds and uh, I'm again extracting about 34 to about 35 grams which is what we have we are, we are trying to achieve uh, in the initial planning which is uh, 17 grams in about 34 grams out in about 30 seconds right so uh, we have almost achieved that and let's try to taste the coffee and see whether there's actually any um, taste difference between um, this shot versus the other two right so now let's talk about the um, the result of the three shots um, the best shots I've got from among all the three is actually the last one which I dose directly into the pot of filter and I grind the beans uh, with the grinder turned on then I pour in the beans and then I do not do any bellowing so in this uh, the final uh, final cup that I extracted uh, there's minimal um, fine coffee powder extremely fine coffee powder which tends to get out of the grinder as we bellow. So the, that's the main difference between this one and the previous two. The first one, we did uh, those directly into the dosing cup and it seems that the extraction ratio is still pretty good, but we are getting um, very, very acidic shots. And, um, and remember, we weigh out the coffee bean before we bellow and the difference is actually quite significant and as I pump out the coffee there's actually even more coffee powder fine coffee powder that comes out and ends up I have to remove uh, some of the coffee to maintain the 17 gram dosage and the second shot I dose directly into the powder filter and I do a bellow and there's very minimal retention right I would say that uh, it's almost 0 0.1 grams maybe from the previous one but the problem is the co fine coffee powder stays on top and uh, the coarser and the more consistent coffee is actually at the bottom Right, because we didn't turn over the uh, dosing cup. For the first shot, the fine coffee powder right, will be at the bottom and the coarse coffee powder will be at the top. Right? So because we use the dosing cup and we invert it as we put, put it over to the polar filter. So that is the difference between the first, second and the third shot. Of course the third shot, we did not do any bellowing. And it turns out that the, uh, the second shot, um, because the fine coffee powder is at the top, when the uh, this is my theory right when the water hot water comes out from the uh, shower screen hits the fine coffee powder immediately and uh, this actually cause uh, the extractions over the fine coffee powder and this tends to give us a more bitter shot and uh, which blends out the acidity that we get from the uh, more evenly distributed coffee or maybe uh, as compared to the first one right and the first shot of course the uh, fine coffee powder is at the bottom so the coffee flows really fast at the top and eventually goes slightly slower at the bottom so in that part it is under extracted right so which which leads to a more acidic shot and the second one is over extracted at the top which means that the acidity has gone down but the bitterness has gone up so end up the bitter uh, overall acidity has actually dropped but it is still not producing the uh, the sweet cup that i'm looking for and the best shot i'm actually gotten is actually the third one without any extra extremely fine coffee powder that's actually bellow out so my conclusion is uh, you can try it at home and let me know in the comment section down below right, what do you think about this and uh, if you have tried it by yourself that's not to bellow grind exactly 17 gram 
or grind slightly more so that it don't have to bellow and you should throw away the, the fine coffee powder that uh, you, you want to bellow because the fine coffee powder tend to tend to be a lot finer as compared to the others right uh, this is pertaining to the SSB Casper uh, I will try also to do it on the SSB High Uniformity to see whether this result is actually the same for the High Uniformity as well as the Multipurpose Spur. Um, currently I have uh, the uh, SSB Casper installed in my shop and I have a SSB High Uniformity at home, both running on the DF64. So I will be testing on the High Uniformity first to see uh, whether the extraction, uh, the, the, the level of extraction is the same and that will I be able to get the, uh, the similar kind of results. Right, so I hope uh, you find this interesting and let me know in the comments that section down below if you have uh, tried it for yourself uh, have you tried uh, to do without bellowing um, um, do, you, do you mind actually to waste a little bit of coffee so that you do not bellow out the extremely fine coffee powder and uh, how many of you are actually using the Casper right um, or how many of you are actually using the high uniformity how many of you are actually using the uh, SS, uh, the Itamio, right, the original stock Itamio, and how you get how 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 is your coffee being extracted? Do you bellow all the way, or do you just you know like me? Uh, in my last shot, we uh we do not bellow out the last one, but we still maintain the seventeen grams that we initially targeted for, right? So thanks for joining me today. This is CY once again, right? Um, uh, I hope you find today's um experiment interesting. Uh, not necessarily conclusive. But at least I'm trying to find out in what way I can get a better shot of coffee. Right? So thanks for joining me today. Remember to subscribe to my channel, like my videos, and then remember to ring the bell if you want to stay um, updated with my uh, video productions and uh, so that you will not miss out any of the, the content that we uh, produce. Right? So thank you once again and see you very soon and stay safe.